You're watching Game Show Network. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary Moore. Thanks very much. Welcome to our show. Our first guest is, oh, this is a great delight to me. I'm a, I'm a big fan, big, big fan. Our first guest today plays a very vital part in one of television's most successful and long-running programs, and we'll meet him in a moment, but first, let's meet our long-running panel here on To Tell the Truth. Kitty Carlisle? You went, you went and did it, Peggy. You went and bought some hot pants. That's right. They're great. But if you I got crazy go and, legs. I didn't go and buy hot pants. These are what I used to call shorts to wear on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's a, that's a pair of shorts from the beach. Well, they're great. Great legs, too. Larry, what's the matter? You ashamed of your legs? Uh, no, but I tell you, it's hard <laughs> sitting here. <laughs> Well, I think it's time for us to get down to the nitty-gritty of things. Now, our first guest works on a very famous television show, and I'm going to show you just a bit of a famous trademark used on that program. Now, see if you can identify the show, kids. Oh, so okay. Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible, of course. You always see that tape recorder up the Self -destructs. top. Self-destructs. Yeah. Now, let's meet the man who works on Mission Impossible. <laughs> Number one, what is your name, please? My name is Bob Johnson. Number two. My name is Bob Johnson. Number three. My name is Bob Johnson. Now, in order to present Bob Johnson's story, we've decided to depart from our usual format. Instead of an affidavit, I will tell you Bob Johnson's story uh, just the way he does it on Mission Impossible, or as closely as I can. Now, watch and listen. Good evening, panel. The problem this evening is one of identity. The man you are looking at is Bob Johnson. For five years, Johnson has been the voice of mystery on the self-destruct tapes featured on the famous television program, Mission Impossible. It will be a difficult job to identify Johnson since he will alter his voice while answering your questions today on To Tell the Truth. Furthermore, since Johnson's face has never been seen on Mission Impossible, we can only tell you that he is one of the three men you are now looking at. Panel, if you do not identify the real Bob Johnson in four minutes, it will cost to tell the truth $500. So do a good job of questioning. Good luck. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. And that is his affidavit. And how about that? Well, for heaven's <laughs> sake, what does one know about it? <laughs> I'm now wearing hot pants. <laughs> He'll be right back after I put myself out. Hi, I'm Jim Palmer for The Money Store. Does it seem like the weekend is the only time to take care of personal business? The problem is, is that when you're off, just about everyone else is too, but not at the money store. If you're thinking about refinancing your home, you can call the money store this weekend and apply by phone. There's no application fee, and the chances are you'll have an approval by Tuesday. So if you want to refinance your home, call the money store this weekend at 1-800-LOAN-YES. That's 1-800-LOAN-YES. Whoever said love is no laughing matter hasn't seen the dating newlywed hours. You always hurt the one you love. Help me. The one you shouldn't hurt at all. Why are they begging me? So if I broke <laughs> your heart last night. Wow. It's because I love you most of all. She always makes the first move. That's my wife. Now there's a whole hour to love the dating newlywed hours. The power of nature. 
It can turn your summer day into a nightmare of destruction when a deadly tornado strikes. Now, National Geographic video takes you into the eye of the storm. In Nature's Fury, an incredible 60-minute You Are There video that captures nature at its deadliest. Call this toll-free number now to order Nature's Fury for only $19.95. Order now, and you'll also receive the best of cameramen who dare, absolutely free. This special television offer is not available in stores, and you have no risk as your satisfaction is guaranteed for your money back. So call now to get Nature's Fury for only $19.95 and receive your bonus video free. Call now. For rush delivery, get your credit card ready and call 1-800-841-6767. That's 1-800-841-6767. Or send your check or money order to the address on your screen. Call right now. From the world's greatest performer comes the world's greatest performance video. Presenting Elvis, the great performances, a feature-length video celebration of exclusive music and memory from the king of rock and roll. Join Priscilla Presley as she takes you on an intimate tour of Elvis's life, the Graceland Mansion, and best of all, Elvis's great musical performances. And now, for the first time ever, this digitally mastered feature-length video cassette can be yours to enjoy for a lifetime. Call now to order Elvis, the great performances, for only $19.99. Order today, and we'll also send you three never-before-released production photos of Elvis, taken during one of his historic television appearances. These limited-edition reproductions are suitable for framing and a must for any Elvis fan or collector. To order, call 1-800-599-9797 or send check or money order to Elvis, Post Office Box 910, Department Game, Gardnerville, Nevada, 89410. That's 1-800-599-9797. Call now. Okay, let's see if you can now guess the panel. All three of these gentlemen claim to be Bob Johnson, the mystery voice on Mission Impossible. And let's begin the questioning with Spooky Tooth Bill Cullen. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's a good job. You don't get your face showing all around, and you can do all kind of other jobs and things like that. Bob, number two, how did, you, how did you get this job? Well, I had to audition for it, of course. There were several other candidates, but uh, I did make it. Uh, n number three, I know a little bit about this business. Uh, did you know the producer at all? Bruce Geller, yes, very well. I mean, did you know him before you got the job? Yes. Because that, that helps many times in this business. People say to me, how do you, you know, you know somebody. Uh, number one, uh, because we're, we're talking about the job you do, I don't mean to be improper, but is this a well-paying job? Oh, I think it's adequate for the size of the job that's being done. They all sound like they're altering their voices, don't they? <laughs> okay. That's skillful. I altered my voice. Number two, uh, does this job pay over scale? No, it's, it's fixed by AFTRA. So, I see. Uh, number one, I'll ask you the same question. Does it pay over scale? You know what scale is, number one, don't you? Uh, yes. Uh, well, each individual, of course, bargains for what he uh, can get. Over scale? Yes. Wait a minute. I just had a terrible thought. Number three, does this job pay under scale? No, 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 not at all. <laughs> Darn it, I thought we were about to uncover something there. In this business, that would indeed be Mission Impossible. <laughs> Let's go to Peggy. Number one, who used to play Cinnamon? Uh, Cinnamon was played by Barbara Bain. Thank you. Uh, number three, where do you shoot uh, Mission Impossible? Paramount Studios in Hollywood. Thank you. Number one, you were on one night and switched to another. Could you tell me those two nights? Uh, we were on Sunday night to begin with, and we've uh, shifted out to uh, Saturday night. Thank you. Number one, who's your agent? My agent is uh, Don Schwartz. Thank you. Uh, number three, who's your agent? Bill Fix. Uh, number two, do you get paid on repeats the same as you got for the first time? Yes. Gee, that's really pretty darn good. How long has it been on the air, number two? Five years. Five years? Thank you. And number one, uh, who was the person who played, uh, who played the, uh, the, who's Barbara Bain's husband in real life? Uh, Martin Landau. Thank you. Uh, number three, <laughs> who is Peter Graves related to? Um, Jim Arness. What is his he brother. to? Oh, to his brother. 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 Thank you. Uh, no. Thank you, Peggy. That takes us to Larry Blyden. Number two, what unions do you belong to? Uh, SAG and AFTRA. SAG and AFTRA. Number one, which ones do you belong to? I belong to SAG and AFTRA and uh, also AGMA. And also AGMA. Which one is that? American Guild of Musical Artists. Son of a gun. I listen. <laughs> Number two, what or where is Alta Loma? Alta Loma? Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm afraid I can't really answer that question. Okay, number one, who owns KTLA? Do you know? Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, the big singer, baseball man, uh, Gene Autry. Okay, number uh, number three, what is Greg's last name on the show? His real life last. Greg name. Morris. Greg Morris. And number uh, two, what studio did you shoot it at? Uh, the Paramount Studio. Paramount Studio. Number one, who replaced Barbara Bain? Well, uh, nobody replaced her the first year she was off. This year, uh, we have Leslie Warren. Okay. Num hey, everybody knows a lot about this, Kitty. Number three, who's the writer on the show? There are different writers every week. Thank you. Number two, who arranges all those extraordinary technical effects where people are screwing things into something and putting wires together? Well, Bruce Geller himself has a lot to do with that. And number one, are you a singer? I do a little singing. Yes. Number two or three, are you an actor? Oh, uh, a stuntman. As You're well. a stuntman. Mm -hmm. How did you get to use just your voice then? Well, I was on the show when they first started doing it. Ah, number two, are you a stuntman? Well, I used to be an am I, I used to be an amateur theatricals, and then I uh, got into radio spot news reporting. Thank you. Number one, how many of these do you do at once? Well, the beginning of the season, maybe four or five that are stacked up, and then as we go along, we may do them one at a time. Okay, this one may be tough. We have to make up our minds. Is it one? Is it two? Or is it three? Fifty dollars for each wrong vote, five hundred dollars if all the votes are wrong. And Bill Cullen, you look, um, what are you doing? You're making a big fat goose egg there? You know somebody. Well, you know, you know how bad I am at recognizing you. Yes. And all this week I've been wrong every time. This is my first chance to be right, but I swear I recognize one of those gentlemen. I assume if I recognize him, I've met him or come across him or worked with him or something, because I work on both coasts. Do you think that you have recognized the Bob Johnson, or is it just one of the gentlemen? Well, I figure if I recognize him, I never go anywhere. I'm always around a studio, so he must be around a studio. So all if right. I know him, he must be in a business. We get a disqualification. It counts for one wrong vote. And uh, Peggy, let's go to you. You know, the funny thing is, I feel as though I know all their voices all sound so familiar. Number two really sounds familiar to me. But I don't know what I voted for number one. All righty. And Larry Blyden. Well, I also voted for number one. Uh, and that's my reason. <laughs> <laughs> that's as good a reason as you're going to give all day. Kitty? Well, I voted for number one because I think the man who does this voice is also a singer and would have to belong to Agma, which I belong to, too, so I recognize a fellow singer. Boy, we better be right. We got one disqualification, which counts as a wrong vote. We got three votes for number one, and will the real Bob Johnson please stand up? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, number two, you got a big booming voice there. Uh, you sound like you're in our business. What is your real name and what do you do? My name is Scott Robinson. I do advertising for E.W. Bliss Company, a builder of heavy machinery. Listen to good boy. Good. Number three, sir, what is your real name, please, and what do you do? My name is Ron Butler, and I'm an editor with Penthouse Magazine. Oh, and you have your own dollars. Yeah. Bill, was that the right Bob Johnson? Did you disqualify yourself for the right reasons? No. <laughs> I thought it was number two. You thought it was number two? Number two, had you ever met Bill Cullen anywhere before? I don't know. You didn't go to Princeton, did you? <laughs> That's not the only place I didn't go. <laughs> Bob, oh, I'm having a great week. <laughs> it's a, I know you have no script, no copy with you. We, we, we wouldn't want you to give you know, a real all-out performance, but could you give us a couple of phrases in the voice that you use on the, on the tape? Good afternoon, Mr. Moore. The man you're looking at is Bob Johnson, a signer of Missions Impossible. There you go. <laughs> Honey, you really, um, you really find somebody who looks like his voice, and he looks like his yes, voice, does. doesn't he? It's a great voice. Bob, thank you for being with us, as well as your friends here on To Tell the Truth. Thanks a lot. You know, Gary... <laughs> Our next guest is a young man who truly believes that he is his brother's keeper. And we'll find out more about him in just about uh, 122 seconds.
If you've ever struggled with a handheld trimmer, you'll love this revolutionary new kind of trimmer on wheels. Just look how easy it rolls on those two big wheels and glides in any direction on this front-mounted mobile. It's perfect for trimming around rocks, along fences, buildings, sidewalks, and in all those hard-to-reach corners. The new DR is also a mower. It cuts tall grass, waist-high weeds, even wet grass and rough areas with never-before ease. There's no steel blade to bend or dull. You'll just love what the DR Trimmer Mower can do for you and your property. Call toll-free 1-800-915-2020 for your big free package all about the revolutionary DR Trimmer on Wheels plus special savings now in effect. That's 1-800-915-2020 for free DR details. Nobody knows more about homes than Century 21 Home Improvements. Hi there, I'm Carrie Whitaker, and a few days ago this was a tired old kitchen. Hard to believe, but thanks to a process called cabinet refacing, Century 21 Home Improvements has made it beautiful again for substantially less than custom kitchen remodeling. This video explains everything, and it's free. Why waste it? Reface it. Refacing begins by removing your old cabinet doors and drawer fronts. The finish is taken off, and the original framework covered with matching laminate. Then, new cabinet doors and drawer fronts are installed in your choice of style and finish. They can also custom build cabinets, countertops, even center islands. To find out more about cabinet refacing from Century 21 Home Improvements, call now and receive your free video. There's no obligation, so call today. Want to see more? Well, call for the free video, and you'll see how Century 21 Home Improvements can create the kitchen you want at a price you can afford. Visit Game Show Network on the Internet at www.sony.com. Game Show Network wants to get you into the game and online. And now let's meet our next team of challengers. Number one, what is your name, please? My name is William Hoyland. Number two. My name is William Hoyland. Number three. My name is William Hoyland. Well, now, panel, you got to admit that all three of them look like a very good William Hoyland, don't you think? Yeah. Any one of the three could be William Hoyland. But just for laughs, let's, let's drop the curtain and we'll start all over again. Drop the curtain. Back up, gentlemen, quick before the curtain hits you. There you go. Don't, don't hit the young men. There we go. I will now hum 12 bars from my latest hit. <laughs> Very good. good. Isn't that good? Yeah. All right. Now let us then meet the boys again. Number one, what is your name, please? My name is Arnold Hoyland. Number two. My name is Arnold Hoyland. Number three. My name is Arnold Hoyland. Arnold Hoyland. Uh-huh. So you see, you'll notice that the names have changed, but the faces have remained the same. Now let me explain. The story you're about to hear concerns Arnold and William Hoyland. And Arnold and William are identical twins. So here's what we did. When we dropped the curtain, Arnold replaced William. Yeah. yeah. Uh. However, the two imposters remained the same. Therefore, only one person of our team of challengers actually changed place with another. Is that clearly misunderstood? Yes. Yeah. All right. Now then, let's listen to Arnold Hoyland's story. I, Arnold Hoyland, together with my twin, twin brother, William, recently went through an unusual ordeal. We were walking through Central Park one day when we decided to take a short cut across the frozen lake. Well, before we knew it, the ice began to crack and I, Arnold, fell in. By lying flat on the ice and reaching out and pulling hard, William managed to pull me out. We started across again, and you'll never believe it, but this time, William fell in the icy water. We used the same rescue procedure as before. However, we were afraid of falling in again, so we decided to stay put. Police tried to rescue us by extending a ladder from the shore and by shooting a rope from a gun. Nothing worked. I began to think we weren't ever going to get off of that ice. Finally, a police helicopter came down. We crawled in and were flown to safety, cold and wet, but alive. Signed, Arnold Hoyland.
It was fun. All right, Kitty Carlisle, let's start with you. That's the neatest trick of the week. Uh, number two, how old are you? Twelve. Uh, and number three, how old are you? Twelve. Oh, you're all twelve. Uh, number one, how did you rescue each other? I missed that part. We lay down flat on our bellies and pulled each other up. Oh, I see. And number three, when the helicopter arrived, what did you do? We just climbed right up on it. On what? We just, there's a, what do you call it? There's a, we just climbed right in. It was like <laughs> about five feet off the ground, and the guy helped us up. Oh, number two, uh, didn't, aren't there pontoons for it to land on the, on the ice? In the helicopter? Pardon? Are there pontoons for it, like skis? Is that what it lands no, on? No, they just kept above the ice. Oh, they never came right down? No. And somebody helped you in by pulling you up? Yes. And number one, were you soaking wet when you got in? Yes. Number three, did you have pneumonia? <laughs> no. <laughs> After his no, we go to Bill. Uh, number two, ad admittedly, this uh, whole thing of falling through the ice into the water was a terrible experience, but did the helicopter ride sort of make it worthwhile to you? A little. Uh, had you ever, number two, been in a helicopter before? No. Uh, number one, where did the helicopter take you in order to get you to safety? To shore. <laughs> Those helicopter pilots, they're thinking every minute. New York City's finest, mm -hmm. I'll tell you. Uh, number three, did I understand this happened in Central Park? Yes. Number, number one, when did this happen? February 20th, a couple of Saturdays ago. Uh, unless, of course, you're in certain areas where there's, we're on tape, and then it, <laughs> <laughs> then it could have been last year years ago. Yeah, or <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Peggy. Number three, whereabouts in Central Park did it happen? Which body of water? It was the boat lake on about 75th Street. Thank you. Uh, number two, um, when the helicopter dropped you to shore, like, well, they didn't just take you to the edge of the lake, did they? Yes, they did, and from there we climbed into the ambulance. And where did the ambulance take you? To Roosevelt Hospital. And how long did they keep you there? 40, about 45 minutes. Anyway, number one, what did your mother say? She said, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> or approximately. <laughs> Were they, was she angry? Well, she was sort of angry and happy that we were alive. Well, and number three, are you allowed to go walk out on that boat like ice if you're, I mean, were there any warnings? Or was the red no, ball up? No, there weren't any barricades or signs or anything. That. <laughs> Uh, it seems to me there should have been, but then that's none of my business. And we go from Peggy to Larry Blood. Yeah, number one, where is Roosevelt Hospital? It's down on about 49th Street in the west side. Okay, number Fifth two, what grade are you in now? What wait? What grade? Seventh. Seventh grade. Number three, do you and your brother ever try to fool people on purpose? I mean, just like pretend to be each other? Fool people? Yeah, just like say I'm Arnold and... Oh, and once in a while, not usually. And usual. whoever you are, you're not, you're the other one. Once in a while, not usually. Okay, number two, did you get a cold when you, when you fell into that? Yes, I did. Did your brother get a cold? Yes, he did too. Well, that's the least you could do. Did you have the same cold or were they different colds? <laughs> <laughs> number three, um, I have a note down here that I meant to ask and I can't for the life of me read it, which shows you what class we're doing. Well, just in time the bell rang then, yeah. and so we have to mark our ballots, and we do not consult among ourselves. Independently, we mark for one, or for two, or for three. We pay $50 for each wrong vote, $500 of all the votes are wrong, and Kitty Carlisle. I know I'm wrong, but I would like to disagree with you. I think it's everybody's business in New York that a lake that is possible for children to fall into has no warnings around it is a disgrace. Right. And it's everybody's business, and I voted for number two. All righty. We got a two and Bill Cullen. And I think but in defense of our great city administration, even though they, they were lax there, they showed great presence of mind in picking the boy up and bringing him to the shore as opposed to putting him back in the lake. <laughs> Absolutely. And for that reason, I voted straight Democratic. <laughs> And by the way, may I ask you before the rest of the votes are in, are you voting because of the story or are you voting any of you because you think you recognize the Switch and Twins? I think I, I recognize the Switch You think you recognize the Switch and Twins? I don't, I don't recognize twins? the Switch at all. And Peggy says no and Larry says no. All right, no, let's continue sorry. them well, with I'm the voting. I'm probably wrong. Well, Good. I'm going to vote for the kid that got the world's shortest helicopter ride, number three. <laughs> number three. There you go. And Larry Blyden? Uh, ever in my life I saw, you, I saw a kid named William or Arnold Hoyland. Yes. Number two. 
But I voted, nevertheless, for number three because I thought that I did notice a change. You thought that you did notice a change? That's what I thought. I okay, you're the only one who claims that. We've got two twos and two threes. And uh, rather than have, um, tell you what, let's get his brother out here. And as soon as we see his brother, William, oh, come out God. here. <laughs> and there you go. Ain't it so? Well, number one, you are great. What is your real name? What do you do? I'm Preston Maybank, and I go to the Buckley School. A Good student. Yeah. <laughs> Very serious number two with two wrong votes. What is your real name, and what do you do? My name is Stephen Mike, and I go to Terrell Junior High School in Scotch Plains, New Jersey. Uh -huh. William, where do you two guys go to school, you and Arnold? We go to Bentley Private School on West 86th Street. Uh-huh. What was the reaction of, your, uh, of your, your schoolmates when all this came out in the papers and everything? The next day, everybody was asking us questions, what happened. Uh-huh. And that's all? You weren't big heroes or one thing? People tend to become heroes after these great catastrophes, huh? Yeah. People get your autograph and all that? Did you get your picture in the Daily News? Yes. Good. Big, exciting time, huh? Hey, yeah. welcome out. And welcome also to the Tell the Truth as well as your imposters. And thank you very much. Introducing Plus White Plus Peroxide Toothpaste. You'll get whiter teeth plus the benefits of peroxide. Plus White Plus Peroxide. There's no white like Plus White. Want to go curly and add fullness to your hair? Now you can with Wash & Curl Shampoo. Its curl enhancers work right in the shower. Your hair will look full and beautiful. Wash & Curl, the curling shampoo. If you have wrinkles and puffiness under your eyes, I recommend Sudden Change Under Eye. Look, before Sudden Change and after. Sudden Change Under Eye. Jim, it says here that personal debt and credit card borrowing have reached a 10-year high. With rates at 17 to 18 percent, those payments could be enormous. That's right, Joni. But if you're a homeowner, the combo loan from the money store can help. With a combo loan, you can refinance your mortgage and pay off your high-rate credit cards and other loans. And the interest can be tax-deductible. So even if your credit is less than perfect, the Combo Loan can help you manage your family's finances better. The Combo Loan, available at the Money Store. Call 1-800-LOAN-YES. You are now entering the Party Zone, a new 36-song collection of today's hottest dance tracks. Baby, let me show you how to do This awesome collection is not sold in stores, so order now. Call toll free now for the party zone. Cassettes $19.98, CDs $26.98. Call now. You're watching Game Show Network, where What's My Line is next with Wally Bruner, followed by Password and Card Shark. Well, friends, if you'll tune this show in at this same time tomorrow, we've got the biggest surprise for you we've ever had on this show. Uh -huh. uh, unfortunately, what it is escapes me at the moment. I've oh, forgotten well, what it is, we'll but I'll sure. tune in and try to find out myself, so I'm you be sure. there, huh? In addition to the cash awards, our central characters today will receive this handy saver from Mallory Battery Company, powered by Duracell. The long-distance power cell will last far longer than ordinary batteries. Transportation and other considerations provided by Chevrolet, featuring the 1971 Impala. More wheelbase, more glass, more sound vending materials, all at a Chevrolet price. Prizes or product mentions were furnished and or paid for by the manufacturers or supplier of the products or services identified on this program. This is Johnny Olson speaking for To Tell the Truth, a Mark Goodson, Bill Totman production.
Will the next game show enter and sign in, please? Hey, it's What's My Line, up next here on Game Show Network.